Is there an infinite amount of possible songs? The practical answer to this is yes. Not in your lifetime, not in a thousand years, not even in 10,000 years will we ever run out of songs. Researcher Dan Ulner estimates that given these parameters, each song having a five minute limit and being able to be represented on a 441 kilohertz CD, the amount of discernibly different songs that could exist is roughly this number, which is a huge number but it's not infinitely huge. But I'm not interested in the practical answer here. No, 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 no. Nothing practical ever came out of one of my videos. <laughs> I want to expand Ulner's parameters and focus on technically different songs. Now, bear with me. In this experiment, you could have two nearly identical songs that end on two slightly different notes. And for the purposes of this thought experiment, I'm considering them different songs. One can imagine, given this huge leeway, the possibilities of songs being so astronomically high that it might as well be infinite. But no matter how astronomically high they may seem, is there an end? Technically. Well, the answer to this question is uniquely tied to the lifespan of our universe. We're going to explore the cosmos in a ship of the imagination, unfettered by... 20th century composer John Cage's piece, As Slow As Possible, is currently being played in the St. Bernardi's Church in Haberstadt, Germany. It is a piece of music that is set to last for 639 years. This is a real thing. And this particular piece of music has been playing in Haberstadt since 2001. This is a slow piece of music. Like one or two notes per year slow. And while I know it's hotly contested whether or not Cage's music is, well, music, Let's set that aside for a minute and assume it is. What I'm getting at here, and this caveat admittedly is real stupid, is that we could have really, really long songs. I'm talking million year long songs. Maybe even infinitely long. And that's the important distinction, because anything that's not exactly infinity falls short in the pursuit of our question. The key here is finding a quality within music that has the potential to be infinite. Could that be time? If we expand the length of song parameter past Ulmer's five minutes, past Cage's 639 year limit, we could have songs that go on forever. So long as we have a universe and air, even if the human race destroyed itself. In theory, so long as there is a medium in which sound could travel, we could envision a reality where we have automated the music writing and performing process, solved the obvious logistical issue that's presented in machines creating indefinitely long songs, and even though there wouldn't be humans around to hear it, the music could still go on, being generated for an eternity. So, on a purely technical level, could there be an infinite amount of songs? Yeah, realistically, almost certainly not. Considering the ever mounting odds that we will one day be no more, the odds are so bad that the chance that we could have an infinite amount of songs might as well be infinitely against us.